Hey there, Downtowners. Jay Ruffle here with another exciting installment of Downtown TV. We're your number one source for everything going on right here in the heart of the capital city. And this weekend, we have got some fantastic activities coming up, including the 32nd annual Children's Day here at the Florida Museum of History, located right here in the heart of downtown, only one block away from the state capital of Clayman Plaza. I got my good friend Gary Pettin here from the museum. He's going to be telling us a little bit about everything that's going on that entails Children's Day. 32 oh, years yeah. of a great legacy. What a cool event. Yeah, so we've been, the Museum of Florida History has been doing this for 32 years. And uh, every year we try to make it bigger and better. Yeah. Uh, and this year, uh, we're actually having quite a bit of construction going on at the museum. We're building a, a new exhibit that's going to open in April. Yeah. There's doing some kind of construction up on the plaza above the museum. So we've kind of gone with the whole construction theme. Sure. And uh, when you get off the elevators coming down to the museum, we're going to have one of the activities is making your own construction pad. Perfect. You know, decorate it nicely. Kids will love that. But of course, we're going to have dozens of exhibitors uh, from organizations all around Tallahassee. I mean, Challenger Learning Center is going to be here. Tallahassee Museum is going to be here. Uh, the Mag Lab over at FSU is coming by. Right. And then we've got uh, the Making Awesome, which oh, has got yeah, these 3D printers. Yeah. yeah, they're bringing their 3D printers by. Very cool. And they're going to be printing something. That's uh, cool. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, so that'll be great. <laughs> that'll be great to see. Yeah, maybe some fossils. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Uh, we got our friend Herman back here. You might recognize him. He's one of the most recognizable exhibits here, or oh, yeah. permanent guests, I suppose you would say, at the museum. Uh, our mastodon that was found in uh, Wakala Springs in the 1930s. Yep. Uh, I get people all the time that have children that are asking me, hey, what's on the agenda? You know, what work can we bring the kids on Saturday? You know, let them come have some fun, you know, play with different stuff and, and have a great yeah. time. This is it, man. I mean, the museum's always a great stop, but folks, if you're looking for a place to kind of let the kids run around and have some fun in a really cool environment, Children's Day down here this Saturday is it. We're talking, what, 10 a.m. start time? Right? 10 a.m., yeah, it goes 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., yeah. and throughout that entire time, we have performances lined up all day long. Very so, I mean, Young Actors Theater, Afro-Caribbean Dance yeah. Theater is going to be performing, Tallahassee Ballet performs. So we've got all these performances, and all of the performances and everything are free. Oh, yeah, right. Admission, parking, it's all free. Um, this is really just a community service event to let people know what there is in the community sure. for children. Yeah. And we try to put it all in one place. Yeah, we've, got, good. we've got some activities that, uh, you know, like face painting and everything, they cost uh, tickets, which you can right. purchase here, but admission and everything is absolutely free. Yeah, all in all, folks, yeah, you bring the kids down this Saturday, you're gonna have a pretty tremendous experience. It's very easy on the wallet. Uh, yeah. And again, we've got so much great stuff going on downtown, with great restaurants and shops to kick around. Uh, th this is really the destination to be this Saturday. Uh, to bring your kids down, bring the whole family and have some fun at the museum. What else do people need to know about Children's Day? What else is going on with it? Well, uh, you can come anytime you want. Um, it usually, if, if you're looking to uh, avoid the crowd of it, it is right. a popular event. You can come in the later times of the day, usually okay. about 2 p.m. We start to kind of windle down. Sure. Um, so if you're looking to avoid crowds, come then. Cool. Um, but we're also, I mean, we're open every Saturday. So yeah. if you don't make it down this Saturday, you uh, make it down next and, Saturday. And, and people, if, if they don't realize, the museum is always free yeah. and open to the public. I mean, there's great exhibits right around the hall. You said y'all are... Uh, Getting ready, or you've got under construction with the rest of the Florida yep. sort of Yep, story. we're hoping to uh, hoping to get forever changed La Florida. Yeah. Hoping to get the second half of that finished cool. up here in, uh, in April. Great. Yeah, you, you can come here to the Florida uh, Museum, and you, you can see the entire history of our great state right here on display with fantastic artifacts, just like our friend Herman here. And uh, again, downtown is always the place to go to bring the kids, come out, and have a great yeah. Saturday. And we love to encourage you to come down here to the museum. It's one of my favorite places. Gary does a great job down here promoting what they do. And folks, if you're looking for anything else going on downtown this weekend, as always, you can check out www.tallahasseedowntown.com. We've got all the lineups for everything happening in the whole entire downtown area. And you can do a little discovery and find a great place to eat while you're at. Uh, but come on downtown where we like to say we are always in session. Bring the kids this weekend and have some fun at the 32nd annual Children's Day here at the Museum of Florida History. Thanks, Gary. Yep.